Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Since uploading my video a few years ago, uh, reviewing the Prius 5 a month or so after I started to lease it, uh, it's already generated like hundreds of thousands of views. Hey, I know you're thinking, well, Chris, I thought you were a technology guy. No, I'm a geek. And I was geeking out over the car. It got an insane amount of views. In fact, if you look at my channel, the most highly trafficked videos are the ones not about technology, which makes me wonder, okay, so do we need to be doing more geeky content, not just tech stuff? I think so, because that's the way YouTube uh, seems to respond to the content that we share. So uh, I, I, I gave a, a walkthrough, and I got to tell you, well, I guess it was a drive-through, although not really a drive-through. My perspective on the Prius 5, I have loved leasing that vehicle. Uh, I, I can't say that I smile when I go to pay for gas, but... Uh, very rarely have I spent over $30 filling up the tank, and it gets me just as far as any other vehicle that I've driven. So for anybody who would say, ah, drive a real car. Well, last I looked, that is a real car. It's got four wheels, a uh, steering wheel. It's, well, I guess that make it five wheels. Four wheels on the road, one wheel in front that you can position your hands on, uh, and, and it's got a radio, uh, it's got a USB port, um, glove compartment, uh, what else? Um, did I, any, radio? Did I even mention radio in there? So uh, I'm uh, very happy with it, and uh, it's something that I've been leasing. And I'm considering leasing uh, a Prius when my lease is up uh, later this year. Uh, we've written an article on LockerGnome.com. You know, you're welcome to watch the uh, the video review I did of, of the Prius if you want. Hundreds of thousands of you have already. Uh, and uh, the article that we had just written up is titled hybrid ca cars hybrid cars suddenly i'm from where's what's that accent from is that is that chicago hybrid cars are they as good as some claim uh i can tell you that uh the prius has served me very well and uh, this is not a paid endorsement at all toyota has no idea i even exist sadly uh, but I love the cruise control, and as I demonstrated in the video, you can set the cruise control, and other cars have this option as well, and instead of hitting the brake, if the a car in front of you slows down, it will automatically adjust accordingly, and I love that feature. You want to talk about geeky, that is geeky, and that also helps me save on gasoline, because it just, uh, you know, uses as much energy as it needs to use. The car is smart enough, really, to, to kind of drive itself if you let it, uh, and uh, as I said, even last year, when I went to, uh, uh take my statements into the accountant, he, he thought, well, wait a minute, uh, are you sure this is right for the amount of gas that you paid this year? And I looked at him I'm like, yeah, I spent less than $1,000 in gas in, uh, in a year. That was a year ago, so that had been about 2010, less than $1,000 for gas. Granted, I do work at home, but I do get around town very frequently, uh, and I leave the house every day, so or at least try to every day. Uh, so I've been, you know, really impressed with, with what it was. It, 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 it met my expectations to the point where I am considering my next lease, uh, going with the same vehicle, only the, the 2013, since the one I have is a 2010 that I got at the end of 2009 when the 2010s were brand new, uh, drove it really sight unseen. Uh, these things were just flying, you know, I don't know, not really off the shelves. They, are, they weren't really flying. I wish it could fly. They were driving out of dealerships at breakneck speed. And uh, so I, I was, uh, hey, why not? Give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I've had a lot of vehicles in my life, and I don't care really a, a lot about cars. Um, I love the technology that comes in vehicles these days, including GPSs, which I have in, in my uh, car right now. Uh, I couldn't drive a vehicle without a GPS, to tell you the truth. And even the, the cruise control feature, going to another vehicle without that would be frustrating. Bluetooth, I got to have that as well. I've been using uh, the Pandora service in conjunction with the 3G connection and, you know, all over the Seattle area. It works pretty well. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, unless you are going to buy the car for me, I, you know, I care about what you have to say, but that's my decision. And I, I'm not really um, interested in what you think I'm, I might buy in, in getting mad at me or upset in, about the, my purchasing decision. Because, you know, why would you get upset? over somebody else's decision for their own life. It's kind of crazy. But for some reason, cars are almost like computers in that way. Uh, there are a lot of hybrid cars on the road, and there are certainly some things to consider. Take a look at the article on LockerGnome.com. Feel free to watch my uh, Prius uh, review that was 
done a few years ago. And like I said, it was a pretty popular video. I don't know. Do you think it, I would probably make either a really, really good car reviewer because I'm not a car geek or a really, really bad one. I don't know which, really. I look at the practical applications, not just what's on the sticker sheet. Even with cars, specs aren't everything. It's how you use these things, right? Anyway. Oh, and it looks like uh, Joe Sully Carpenter. GPS is mando. Mandatory. Agreed. What is the one piece of car technology you could not live without? And assuming you're you're living with it now. Because if you haven't lived with it yet, then you don't know what it's like to be living without it. What's that one thing? For me, I think GPS would be the number one thing. Even though I love Bluetooth, I love that cruise control uh, feature that I have right now. That, that GPS, I would say, is, I would agree, Mando.